Josh, Ben, good morning. Welcome to New Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, so we'll start with the obvious question. How you met each other? Go. Hit it, Ben. Uh, we met because uh, the creators of How I Met Your Mother inquired about using one of my songs in the show, and I thanked them, and they invited me down. And I met this guy. And you didn't like any of the other cast members except That's true. Guy. No, I actually formed, I formed duos with all of them. So <laughs> they just, they just didn't the really work stuck. out. He this was the, the fourth choice. Yeah. He's the only one who stuck around. Yeah. That's and Josh, okay. you were aware of Ben's music. I was, yeah. I, I, I was a great fan of his music, and I actually was able to show him on my, what, second generation iPod or whatever, whatever was going in that year that I had some of his songs on it. And of course, he didn't mind that. Yeah, so what was the, how did you actually sit down and write the first song? How did that come around, Ben? Uh, it, it was, we didn't really know. I mean, the, the thing about collaboration is you sort of open the door to it and try and see what happens. Uh, but it turned out Josh had had this dream of a melody and we got, we sort of blended it with this Herman Hess poem and it was like, oh, we suddenly goodness. wrote this song, you know, it's like, it, it's a mysterious process. Yeah. Creating. Then a week later we wrote another song and then I think maybe the third week Ben was like, let's make a record. We're, and then we were suddenly, there. then we were suddenly playing live at, at a uh, venue in LA called the Hotel Cafe and um, suddenly we're in Australia. And in your there bedroom. You Whose bedroom hey, uh, is that? <laughs> That's my childhood home. That really? was a couple of weeks ago. We, went, we played in Columbus, Ohio, where I'm from. Josh, has music always been in your life, in your background? Yeah, well, I started acting because of musicals. That's how I got into acting. And then, but I grew up with a lot of folk music in my house, classical music. My parents were great music fans. Um, so I always had a love for melody. And I, but, I, but you always had a voice, I guess, then. If you I, I did, but I was a little more of a tentative singer. I've been singing now for three years with Ben, so I actually, uh, I'm, a, I'm a much more confident singer now. Mm -hmm. But it took me a while. I, I always. Uh, half apologized when I was about to sing, even though I could do it. It was always terrifying for me. Can can he do it, Ben? Can he really sing? Oh, it's great. And our voices. Anyone who's heard us, like it's mm. very harmony based yeah. now. And um, I think we've worked really hard on finding this really nice vocal blend and just creating this. I mean, you know, it's like just two two guys who like to sing sweet harmonies together. Simon and Garfunkel. What's wrong with that? It's, 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 a, a, grand, it's a grand tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And, but uh, Josh, about a year ago, you decided you wanted to bring more to the table and learn guitar. Yeah. Right. How, how challenging has that been? And I believe you've learned the only best way, and that's in front of an audience. That's right. That's right. Uh, it, it, there's, a, there's a fear factor, you know, if you can freak yourself out enough, you learn quite quickly. Yep. Um, and it was kind of funny, like, I think I'll learn guitar because I'm in a band. Yep. Like, that's as good a reason as any to learn. But, um, yeah, I've been playing every day, and uh, we're now, the second record, we're, we're writing a lot of the songs with two guitars, and Ben gives me all the tips in the world, and it's terrific. Ben, but before you were solo Ben Lee, of course, you, your life started out in a band. It is, is the um, the dynamic and the ecology of a band and all those members is that something you're you're unwilling to go back to these days? Is this sort of as as, as much as you're prepared to do in terms well, of a duo? No, well that band when I started as a teenager was just like me bossing around my childhood friends. That wasn't. This is much more. This of a is band. different. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like you know. I, I, I believe you. Everything <laughs> is done unanimously. Like we both have to like it. And for yeah. me, it's like it's funny. For me, I think it took me getting married to get me ready to actually be in a band. That genuine partnership. Well, just learning yeah, how to be in a real give and take and mm. sharing. And... Ioni was just practice for Yeah, me. you know, she really... <laughs> She's she going to was... hate hearing that. She was <laughs> a dry run for yeah. a band, you know. Excellent. Now, you're, yeah. you're playing gigs here in Australia, you're playing around the world, but you're pretty big in Brazil, Josh. Why, why is that? We have no idea. <laughs> it's one of life's great mysteries why Radner and Lee is huge in Brazil. But we went down there, we played to 1,200 people in Sao Paulo, and. Oh. You know, there's the worry that, like, oh, are they just coming to gawk at, you know, the guy who was on TV with his, you know, friend. Everyone's singing all the lyrics and holding up their phone lighters. And, and <laughs> what know. was huge, of course, was um, um, How I Met Your Mother. And when you're in the middle of all of that, and it was an extraordinary cultural phenomenon, I think a lot of people who still haven't really gotten over the ending of that, um, were you aware of, of how big it was and the big role that it played in people's lives? Did that kind I'm, of seep I think in? it's... I'm still learning that. I mean, it's a strange thing because... It's been four years since we filmed the end, and yeah. I don't. It's not something I think about when I wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm thinking about doing this or other projects I'm sure. working on. Um, but other people, they've been watching it over and over, and they're so obsessive about it. And I love that it affected people so much. But it's not the first thing, to be honest. I want to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I honor that that it changed my life, and it and it 
it changed a lot of other people's lives. That's why I left it to the seventh question. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I was going to Emma Thompson you. Yeah, exactly. oh, just, but no, we, but we've no. been really grateful for, like, however people come and check out the music. Like, at the end of the day... However they get there. You know, it doesn't really matter. Like, I feel like some people come for the freak show and they leave humming <laughs> some songs. And it's like, yeah. that works too. You know, you got to kind of... It, you got to connect with people wherever you we, find We them. really believe in what we're making, and we, we really like what we're making. We like offering it, so whatever gets people in, I think they'll, they'll enjoy it. Now, Josh, before we go, you did mention Emma Thompson there. We were chatting off air. You've, uh, you have a friend in common with the bride-to-be on Saturday. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, up. it's me. Yeah, it's Ben. Mm. But, yeah, people should come to the shows. We're playing Brisbane Thursday night, Melbourne Saturday night, Sydney Sunday night. And okay. We'd love to see people there. You've had various, you know, a large part of your career solo, but you've had collaborators in the past. Where does Josh stand in that at the pantheon? Top. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is honestly, it's like another level of sort of intimacy. Like, I've yeah. done one-off collaborations or produced records. or But this is like a thing, we don't see an end to it. I mean, you never know what happens in life, but it's like we're just, we're building this thing together and it's sort of meant to be something that, is built to last, yeah. and sustain. So I've never done this before. This is uncharted territory, and we're, we're having fun. Look, it's, it's great to meet you both, um, and we wish you well here. But really, more importantly, Ben, you know, forget you. Can you tell Ione that I've never, ever gotten past saying anything? It's oh, one of the, the, the great oh, movies in my life. Oh, so, you know. Yeah, she's the best. I will tell her. She's the one who really matters, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thanks so much. Thank, nice you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.